Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and today I have some empties. Not a ton of them, but a few of them. I am going to start with my three, I think it is, yes, three non-food items. Um, I've been a little remiss at empties because I forget and tend to throw things in the recycle. But I don't think I've had a lot of new items since I've been calorie counting a lot since like May, I think. I just, my, I haven't tried a lot of new things and I certainly haven't tried snacky things unless they're low calorie snacky things and there's a couple in there. So I'm going to start with non-foods. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is the Daily Greens from Pharmacy. And this is like a gel-like, it says oil-free gel moisturizer. And I love this. I got this in a boxy charm a while ago. Oh, there might just be enough for one more time. <laughs> I didn't see that in there. It smells a little, it's not my favorite scent of things that I've received, but I really like it. And yeah, it's got that gel kind of sticky feel when it goes up, but it makes my skin feel really good. And I do like it. And if I didn't get so many items in, you know, Boxy Charm, Ipsy box, I might, this would be one of the things I would consider reordering. So I kind of have to keep this in the back of my mind in case I ever decide to cancel those subscriptions and I might just buy this. I kind of thought when I first got it that I would have it for like six months, find some products I like, and then, you know, order those and just purchase those. Um, but as it turns out, it seems like every month or something I might like even better. <laughs> so it hasn't worked that way. All right, so next is from Lush, which I'm not crazy about Lush scents. Um, yeah, I, I think I talked about that before. And this one is the Raspberry Lime Kitchen Exclusive Body Lotion. Okay, there it is. It's hard to get it to zoom in on this stuff. All right. I, when I first got the Lush, if you didn't watch that video, I was, I mean, some of the sense to stuff just really bothered me. I, a couple items I think I just threw away, I didn't even try. But anyway, long and short of it is, I kept three of them, and this was one of them, raspberry lime. It, it, to me, it almost has a, well, maybe it's just the top of it. it, has this little cedary smell. But I did use it, and I really like this product on. It smells a little better, but I can just overall say, I did cancel my Lush uh, subscription, that um, I don't think I'm crazy about their scents. Now, some of the items that I didn't use from the last box that they sent me, I gave to someone, and they loved the scents. So they're a lot younger than me, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just have an old palette or something <laughs> but yeah but that was a nice product and then I have two products in the bathroom that I'm still using and you know eventually they'll make it onto empties all right so the next one is from Aldi and actually I got more than one item when I bought this but one's not empty so hold on just a second Aldi had some hair care products and I wanted a smaller blow dryer and then I also got this combination curling iron flat iron which I is the one that's out of the box and it's the empty this one I can't tell you anything about but I just wanted you to see that there was a group of them there was a might have been a couple more items in this group and yeah, this just says it's an ionic blow dryer I kind of thought I'd put it in my guest bathroom but I might use it instead because I have the big bulky kind but sometimes it gets hot and then it won't start again <laughs> So I did use this one. I'm still in a learning curve on how to use it, but I thought how, what a good thing instead of like when you're traveling or going on a cruise that you have one that does both. It either opens up or it opens up, you grab the hair and you can wrap around or roll it around. And yeah, it's here. So that's how it looks. Yeah, it makes a noise. So I'm not sure what it's doing. <laughs> like it blows something. What does it say? LED indicator light, cooling air vents, uh, 360 degree swivel cord, and auto shut off. But I will say I didn't burn my fingers trying to use a curling iron. I'm not good with a curling iron or flat iron or anything like that, but I do like to have them around. And when you're like on a cruise, if you're on the ship, you can get, I call it ship hair. Uh, if you're in port, especially in the Southern Caribbean, it's windy and your hair just gets all about or you have humidity in your hair and you just want to touch it up to go to dinner you don't want to go to dinner all crazy and yeah I, I wear my hair up most of the time anyway for those same reasons 
but I thought it would be nice to have something and this one seems pretty nice so far. I've used it only twice and I got some loose curls. I really just curl the ends or iron the ends because I don't want that frizz. <laughs> That's my Pokemon Go Plus Plus. <laughs> but anyway, it is called the Cool Air Dual Styler. So yeah, I, I would give that a thumbs up. So this time of year, it's kind of a good time for this, although they do it all year round, I think. But cinnamon streusel biscotti, biscotti. I love gingerbread or cinnamon biscottis, and this was just from Publix. And I don't remember, I think I was going down the aisle and couldn't resist. Uh, real cinnamon, no artificial colors, 110 calories per biscotti. And uh, with calorie counting, you know, I do have treats because I may have room left at the end of the day for something. And I do like to drink coffee and I love biscotti with coffee. So yeah, I did like these, love these. I've had these before. They may, they've probably been on empties. If it wasn't these, it was a different brand like that. Then <laughs> I barely remember these, <laughs> but I do remember these. And these are from the first time I got diverticulitis. Yes, I just had another bout with it. That's why you haven't seen me really around on, um, uh, on YouTube because I've been down <laughs> with that. But I got these as something I could eat and they were good. They were thick and big, but when you're not feeling good, they were really nice. It looks like they also come in blueberry, cinnamon, brown sugar, and double chocolatey. But the plainer the better for what I was getting them for. So I appreciate that they were there to have something that's mild. I'm not going to say bland. I'm going to say mild. They did have a sweetness to it. They are 160 calories. Looks like per waffle. And I don't eat syrup. I probably, I'm sure I put uh, some kind of jam on them. So, all right. So the next items are from... Uh, I think they're from Aldi. Let's see. They, they're not Aldi brand, but I think they're from Aldi. If they're not Aldi, they're from Publix, but I'm pretty sure they're from Aldi. They are my mochi. But what's different about them is they're not the regular mochi ice cream, which I've had on here before. They are called my mochi smoothie. The mixed berry ones had a real, um, had a little bit of a tartness to it, which surprised me. It was very good and very refreshing. Really liked it. They are 70 calories per bun. <laughs> I, don't know what they, I don't know what you call them. They say, um, what do they call them? They don't really say it. They say a container per piece. They say per piece. So it's just a little, you know, it's like, like a sorbet wrapped in a dough. So it's like a bun to me, <laughs> like those Chinese buns or something. But anyway, I like these. And like I said, this had a little bit of tartness. It wasn't as sweet as many of them. And so it was good. Mixed berry. Um, it shows a strawberry and a blueberry on here. Now I have, uh, oh wait, and back here it shows one more thing. I don't know what the third berry would be. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Rice dough wrapped. Fruit blend snacks. I don't, um, I was going to say I have um, mochi in the freezer right now. One of them is strawberry and I went to eat it after having this diverticulitis and calorie counting and all of that and it seems so incredibly sweet. And that was one nice thing about these I remember is that they weren't. So, all right, so next item is the same thing by Mochi Smoothie, but this time it's strawberry bananas. This was sweeter than the other one, but it also had a really nice flavor, so I liked it too. Again, 70 calories, 70 calories per piece. So, you know, at the end of the day, you got 90 calories left. It's a bonus, <laughs> all right. Um, I brought this more as just a general kind of thing, but if you shop at Aldi, which is where this is from, and you haven't checked out their cheese selection. If you're sleeping on their cheese, you're missing out. Not a huge cheese fan here, 
but I will say that I think the quality of Aldi cheese is much nicer than a lot of those typical grocery store brands that they have. I'm not going to call anybody out whose first name starts with a K, but <laughs> um, yeah, I just think they have a little nicer quality. And like for Aldi, you can get a tray that has all different kinds of them in, you know, squares. It's like, it's like a party tray ready to go with, um, they have a pretty stout, um, what do you call it, uh, where they have jalapeno um, and uh, jack cheese. What do they call that? I don't remember. Anyway, the spicy one. Th theirs is pretty, theirs carries a punch, which kind of surprised me, but it did. And their cheddars, and they have all kinds of cheese. I mean, I, I was kind of surprised at how, but it's a European country, and, you know, they do cheese better than us. I think. So anyway, this just kind of represents all cheeses at Aldi, but it was a sharp cheddar deli sliced cheese. This is what I was putting on some hamburgers that I cooked. And yeah, it was good. In fact, when I ran out, then I started using the K word American singles in the paper. What a difference. And see, I thought I liked that other cheese because that's always what I've had around. My dad's favorite cheese was Velveeta, for goodness sakes. But then once I had this and then went back to the little American singles, mm -mm, no comparison. All right, so the next two items are from Aldi. I have the box and a can for one of them. And it is, let's see if we can get this in focus. Okay, and it is the sparkling beverage with pineapple. This is good. I love this. It's 60 calories a can. It's very refreshing. It's got a pineapple taste that isn't overwhelming. Like there's that Mexican uh, soda that's pineapple. That's nice, but it's a little more artificially flavoring. It's good. I'm not taking it away from it. And very uh, in your face flavor. This one, because it's really a sparkling juice beverage, is lighter, and I really like this. I like this a lot. In fact, the last time I went to Aldi, or every time since I bought this, I went to Aldi, I forgot to look for it, but I don't think it's there, and I think that's why. If they come back out with this again, I am going to buy a ton of these, because I like a sparkling beverage. And yes, I do have a soda stream, but I have never found the things that make it taste as good as some of these. All right. In the same vein, they had the same one, but in a purple box. I still, they're still in there. Oh, there's four to a box. Um, and this was pineapple with passion fruit. Yeah, the passion fruit ruined it. I thought I would like it because I do like passion fruit, but it ruined the pineapple, I think. And yeah, so that's why I don't have the box to show you because the box is holding the other three cans because I haven't been drinking them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe give them out at Halloween. Halloween, I usually get an ice cooler and put water in it. And, you know, sometimes if I have stuff like that, I might stick that in there too. Last time I had a bunch of um, uh, LaCroix and I'll have them this year too because Hubby bought grapefruit and I don't drink that one. So, all right. So the last item or two items again from Aldi and these are I guess these are knockoffs not knockoffs but competition of I guess Hormel but it's uh, at Aldi they're called lunch Mate, and they are the containers of deli meat uh, there was turkey and there was ham which ham is this this is the deli select honey uncured ham finely sliced this is probably one of the best deli meats, in my opinion, <laughs> that I've ever bought at a grocery store. It wasn't too salty. It wasn't over honey. It wasn't dry. It wasn't... It was just... I liked it a lot. And what I mostly used it for, I didn't really do sandwiches because calorie counting bread is kind of expensive, although I've been eating it with this diverticulitis breakout. But anyway, I'm not eating enough food to where it really matters. Um, but what I've been using it for is rolling it up and then slicing it and putting it on salad. And I was eating, before I came down with this diverticulitis again, I was eating a lot of salad. And that might be when I came down with it. But yeah, this, a boiled egg, maybe some 
bacon on top of lettuce and all kinds of raw veggies. That is one of my, with some Caesar dressing, that is all, that is one of my favorite foods of all. And this was really good. All right, so after that, I got something in a similar container, maybe a little bigger, from the name brand in a grocery store, which I think is Hormel. I'm not sure what the brand was, but I think that might be what it was. Anyway, yeah, it just didn't last as long. It kind of, yeah, and it was really super salty. Now, this was, my, I've just noticed that Aldi products tend to be not as salty and not as sweet as a lot of our typical American brands, and I, and I appreciate that. All right, so, and these are family size, by the way. There are two individual pouches inside, so you don't have to open something up all, all the way. You know, you can just open one pouch of it. So for preservation, in case you don't go through it fast enough. But it did last really well, which my store brand one did not. It, I didn't eat, I thought, I don't know if I like the smell and taste of this quite right. So if anything's at off at all, I won't eat it. And I have enough stomach problems, I don't need to add to it. But anyway, um, I didn't care for the turkey as much. The turkey was a little bit saltier, which it tends to be. But uh, yeah, it just didn't have as much flavor, but it's turkey. Uh, one thing I like about these is these are reusable. You can recycle them or you can reuse them, obviously. But I do try to, my husband always says, are you saving that? Why? <laughs> no, I seem like one of those depression era people that like, you know, can't throw it away, might need it in the future. <laughs> But yeah, if they're reusable, I try to reuse them. But at least I can, they are recyclable. They have the symbol on here. Otherwise, I would not buy it, something in a plastic container. You know, the less packaging, the better. So, but yeah. So those are my items. Oops, dropped that one on the floor. Thanks for watching the video. And I hope you will give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are, uh, look at the, um, the subscription count. <laughs> it's getting exciting. Thank you all for your support. Bye-bye.